Eight times Kate Middleton borrowed Queen Elizabeth II's diamonds. Queen Elizabeth II displays her approval of the work of various members of the royal family in subtle ways. One of these ways is speculated to be shown through loans of jewellery that the Queen makes from her own personal, and extensive, vault to the female members of her family. Over the last decade the Queen has loaned many important pieces of jewellery to Kate Middleton. The monarch's granddaughter-in-law has become one of the largest benefactors of the Queen's jewellery generosity for both public and private events. From tiaras to earrings, necklaces, rings and brooches, Kate has been the custodian, if only for an evening, of some of the most precious and potent symbols of the monarchy. The Queen owns one of the largest private jewellery collections in the world, not inclusive of the crown jewels which she technically holds in trust. The main beneficiaries of loans throughout the Queen's reign have been her only sister, Princess Margaret, her daughters-in-law, Princess Diana and Sophie, Countess of Wessex and finally, Kate. Here, Newsweek explores some of the most glittering and significant loans that the Queen has made to Kate throughout her marriage from sentimental pieces to important regal heirlooms. Queen Alexandra Pearl Necklace one of the oldest and most important pieces of jewellery that the Queen has loaned to Kate dates to the year 1863. And was given by Elizabeth II's great-grandfather King Edward VII, when Prince of Wales, to his future wife the Princess Alexandra of Denmark. The necklace is made up of diamonds and large pearls arranged in graceful swags with perfectly matched pearl drops. The necklace was given to Alexandra with a tiara, earrings and a matching brooch. Queen Alexandra wore the necklace throughout her married life and when she died in 1925 it found its way into the collection of her daughter-in-law Queen Mary, Elizabeth II's grandmother. Mary was never photographed wearing the necklace and she loaned it to her daughter-in-law Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother who started wearing it in the 1930s.